Hey, so I was just watching a YouTube video with this lady sitting in the car and she's talking about uh, how, um, you know, she's giving a shout out to blue collar men and trying to call them blue collar high value men and different things like that. And she starts talking about, well, you know, the one thing about it is you didn't need to worry about money. The first criteria for being a high value man is money. It's $10,000 a month, and, you know, and it's over a three to five year period. It's having group acceptance, it's having a network, it's having uh, visibility at LinkedIn level, it's, it's uh, and being you having utility and being useful to the group. So the same way that women want the uh, six sixes, they want a six foot tall guy with six figures and a six pack and maybe even a 600 power horsepower car and um, six months from the last relationship in a six inch package. Uh, you may want all that, but the diff the reality is the criteria is what it is. And so the, this lady keeps saying that, or starts off trying to uh, big up the uh, blue collar men and try to compare their value because she's saying you need to have somebody who can build a house, etc. That's nice and all, but the reality is there's a difference between steady blue collar working men that are high earners and a high value man that has a network and is building through businesses and different things like that. No shade to them, but there is a difference. And I'm in between. I'm a white collar guy that's working toward being in the top 15%. And so I understand the plight of both. Uh, you know, I'm educated enough to, to be on the white collar side, but I earn in between what the uh, top blue collar guys earn and what the top white collar guys earn. And so, you know, she was completely off base, even though she meant well.